Something to say, Ashley? You got something you got to say? Something? You got something there? Eat fresh? <laughs> Talking <laughs> big? Talking big? Huh? Why's, why's Deacon not like you again? Hey, hey now. <laughs> huh? Hey now. Hey guys. Bill's that put that up. I showed you was fresh. You know, did you know that I have a YouTube channel? That's where, <gasps> it's where we upload all the videos. The, the, Tell the, me more. The episodes previous and what. Some of them have gotten a lot of views, some of them have not gotten a lot of views. But you know what you can always use more of? Likes and subscribes. Also, if you want to see how things have gotten to where they're at right now, YouTube is the place to do that. So please, uh, they upload day of every week. Uh, I believe this week is episode three, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you want to see what set forth all the events of what's coming up, go check out the YouTube. And of course, Patreon. Patreon. Matreon. <laughs> See what I did there? Big Matreon. Anyways, uh, Patreon. Uh, that's what I use for uh, funding all the, the bullshit that I do. Uh, it's uh, where we buy things like uh, stuff for running the games, like you can see on the screen right now. It's where we use to uh, get merch stuff and things. Uh, one day merch will go out again. I promise. I swear. He has my words. Uh, <laughs> it's also uh, gets you fun things like weighted voting for what's coming up. Uh, it gets you uh, potential reserved slot in an upcoming game. It gets you um, all kinds of cool things. And on the low, this is the first time anybody's hearing about this, which is also where you'll be able to get to see previews the game that I'm making. Mm -hmm. The lore of the game I'm making. The system of the game I'm making. All that is going to exclusively be posted on Patreon. Who knows? Maybe in season four, we'll maybe see a Matt built game and lore. Maybe. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I've, I've, I've taken three things that I love. And I was initially making three different things, and then today, mm. genius struck up. Why not just smash them together? Mush them up. And now we are. We're mushing. But that's the future. This is the present. We got space stuff. All of space stuff. I'm the Daddy RPG. We are joined tonight by Garonka, portrayed by Pierce Powerton. Mara, portrayed by Futterguy. Sinchrum, portrayed by Degeneration X. Everybody does it now. I love it. And Jace portrayed by <laughs> Magic Ashley. <laughs> Ashley the Brick. Ashley the Mage. Ashley the Witch. All Super comic guru. One of them. Gotta be balanced. Yeah, but which one? <laughs> That's the thing. That's why you say them all, because they never tell us which one is the one. Mm -hmm. I've said it two weeks in a row now. It's just the last one. 
You said the wrong one. Bam! There goes your baby. Actually, the actually the Fay. <laughs> That'll probably be the next one. Who knows? <laughs> well, no. If Ashley does decide to go that route, Jen, when you make the next screen, I need a mushroom sword from whichever friend is Ashley's. <laughs> I'm 100% down. I am that. in control. <sighs> you are in control? Huh. Even if I don't go down that route, Jen, can I request to have that just on any of them that I play in? Jace, tell us some um, stuff that something that last broad game. requires broad. Jace, tell us some stuff that happened last game. Oh, uh, well, to start us off, uh, I rolled a triple botch on the yeah, crashing event. Oh, yeah, I did. The one thing Jace said. The one thing I'm supposed to be good at. Rolled, mm. I rolled a triple botch on Helm, crashing us onto. Was it a moon or an asteroid? It was a planet. You, you, oh, wait, you ran into an asteroid. asteroid. You guys were in mm. light speed. And then mm -hmm. the triple botch brought you out of light speed. In the middle uh, of an asteroid. Either way, there was a um, crash landing, more or less. Unexpe unscheduled stop. Right. All right. Um. That, that's that's not far. Okay. There's some more stuff that happened. Oh. Uh, as we were all trying to figure out what the hell to do. Uh, as you were plummeting towards the As usual. Yeah. Gar started to have a real bad time, and then kind of a real good time, uh, much to the possible detriment of Sintra. Gar started to be. Explicitly hot and had a fever, was mishearing conversations. Uh, he was coming on to me. She came on to me. I don't know, dude. Because he was real pushy about it, which I didn't yeah. appreciate. Uh, and despite last game being, oh, we're all going to talk about Farah, nobody talked about Farah at the beginning. <laughs> and then, like, later on, uh, Farah had to basically say, hey, I'll, whatever you want to know. I'll tell you, but can we just, like, focus on not immediately dying right now? Which Sintra begrudgingly agreed to. Sintra, tell us some more stuff that happened last game. Um, well, the stress of loss turned Gar into a big old beast who immediately did damage to pretty much everyone except Sintra, who did damage to herself. <laughs> damage to me? Well, that's a lie. Nope. Sintra tricked up. yourself. Spent a while in the cargo hold, um, and then everybody kind of jumped on Gar to try to communicate. Mm -hmm. And I lost my fucking eye. Whose <laughs> fault is that, really? I didn't shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> but you were asking to be shot. Wow. Oh, wow. Super not cool. <laughs> Wow, Sentra. Just walking around the ship, minding my own business, <laughs> trying to be affectionate to my <laughs> shipmates. <laughs> Just asking Sentra, for it. What is the spacism, Sentra? All right. I thought it was That is toxic. You all know where Sentra's from. That checks out. <laughs> that makes complete sense. I can't, I can't figure out how to do space and toxic masculinity, but that's victim blaming. <laughs> <laughs> what the car was wearing. He's practically right. He was yeah, wearing Sintra. it half of the time. And that makes it okay? Ah. Wow. <laughs> wow. I mean, three quarters of the time. Right, thank you guys for coming to the last stream. You have a <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Alright, that's good enough recap. Hey, you want to do a thing that we haven't done in a while for you guys? I'm sure some of you probably still need this very much. What's that? Downtown. Oh, oh downtown? Oh, man. <laughs> I got no stress. <laughs> oh. yeah, yeah, <sighs> I got something else, <laughs> but I got no stress. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Jace, pick two. Oh. Train and indulge. What are we training? So we're training to resolve. Okay, add one XP into resolve. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, 
lowest attribute, which would also be, I, it doesn't matter, they're the same. Oh, it's in the book. Dag nabbit. Than you had marked. I'm pretty positive that's not true. <laughs> that's it's fucking impossible for what I had. I was almost full. Just make it shut. Hi, Urban. How are you? Just, just go all the way. It's fine. You get fun stuff and you got no stress. <laughs> no. You know what the quickest way to clear stress just is? Right. <laughs> the best stress. Alright, so those are your two. Have, have have gonna have your two. I'm gonna indulge vice. Okay. Okay. I'm guessing you had way more than uh, way more. Than I had, I had six. Okay. Um, but I'm not gonna Doesn't. risk it. I'll just keep my three. Um. Fill it up. It's cool. I mean, I am prone to rolling ones. So. All right. And your other one? Uh, train playbook. Awesome. Yep. Yeah. Farah. All right, uh, Farah is also pretty stressed, so we're gonna indulge that vice. Click that vice. Not gonna lie, I oh. genuinely forgot we had an indulge mm. vice button. <laughs> so clear one stress there, Farah. <laughs> Come on, go right. here. <laughs> well, it's not. How do I clear stress? It's not letting me. Click the one before you when you're at. Ah, thank you. Uh, can I indulge vice a second time? <laughs> yeah. The only one that says you can't do it more than once per track so, is so, train. So yeah, you can totally try again if you want. All right, we're gonna indulge that vice again. Okay. <laughs> yeah, six stress. Oh. Love I it. All right, mm. stress-free far. Because she's not lying. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, first off, we're going to train in prowess. Because make yourself even scarier. I dig it. Yep. I'm gone. And I don't think I can act it well. Can I go to repair yeah, for the ship? Okay, cool. Yeah. Spend one cred to repair one level of damage to a ship. I kind of busted things you up. To repair electronics, hull, or um, or nav. Mm, tough because choice. Get, tough you choice. Get to pick a system. You don't get to repair oh. the ship as a whole. Yeah. Whoo! Let's uh. Let's do electric. You want to repair the boogie woogie woogie. Or suggestion. No, this is your if you want to repair the it. car sized hole. In the hole? I don't think I smashed up the hole. See, he didn't. He went up through the landing gear. Yeah. The hole was from the asteroids. Yup. No, no, See, I said you. the gar sized hole. In oh. The floor. Oh, in the floor? Yeah, because you need that to be spacefaring. Yeah. Whew. I want to say electrics. That's, that's, that's life support and such. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, roll your rig. <laughs> oh, no, that's your card. Mm -hmm. So, uh... Because I don't know if we ever actually went over it. How does cred work? Creds work, uh, you, you buy stuff and send stuff and whatnot, so you gotta earn creds and things. Uh, creds are used for things like uh, repairing your ship if you make it to a dock or spaceport. Uh, gambling. So on, so forth. That's cred it. I, I thought we were talking about like the cred bar thing. Nope. No? Ah. Oh, I got it. 
Oh, that's right. You got that after you got all the weapons, or got the money out of the prison, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Oh. So, guys. Uh, hey, this doesn't as look as like my What a lovely welcoming party. It's very No Man's yeah. Sky. Yeah. Definitely feels like the planet from the intro. Mm-hmm. <laughs> This one's good. Everybody's kind of calmed down a little. People are themselves again. Now it's just, where are we? How do we get back? Yeah. It's a civilization. Hmm. What's the planet locked? Just this is the one that's just dead. Like there's nobody here, right? Correct. It is the same planet you left off. No animal life. Gizmo, right? Oh, where is Gizmo? Did Gizmo show back up ever? Uh, after Gar has become Gar again, Gizmo will make himself see. Yeah. He didn't mm -hmm. want to get Naughty. eight. Yeah. yeah. We weren't super hungry last time. We're still hungry, but not that kind of hungry. Yeah, they're doing you and me going to get food. <laughs> Jay's going to change his pants. <laughs> oh, yeah. Pooped him. <laughs> I'm going to get the shit out of Jay. Literally. Uh... All right, gang. Uh... <sighs> I don't even know where the fuck we are. Mm. We're on a dead planet somewhere outside of Imperial space. I don't know mm -hmm. who controls this. Hmm. Uh. <sighs> Might even look uh, up. We already looked it up. Like, Maybe the pirates control it, maybe treasure hunters, but unfortunately there was no listed information of this planet. Uh, Jace, uh, is the ship in good enough condition to fly us somewhere else, or...? I don't know, Matt, is the ship in good enough condition to fly us somewhere else? Well, um, you, you have all the necessary things like you have like power in the ship and everything uh maybe if you took a lot of asteroid hits so maybe if everybody who needs to breathe stayed in the cockpit and you sealed the airlock door of the cockpit you might not have to worry about anything but a lot of your stuff might get sucked into space yeah. we're definitely gonna have to do some uh hole repairs after the fabulous crash landing. I don't think you get to make jokes about that quite yet. Yeah. Did we just Maybe fly over the planet? Out. Well, um, Matt, what is the closest, like, known inhabitable planet to us? Is there a way we can look that up? Well, that's the problem. Since the, the jolt out of light speed kind of like just puts you somewhere in space. And okay. you guys go to check the navs, the navs are down. Mm. I think we're for picking consequences later. I can't believe you guys have done this to me. What would I ever do to anybody? <laughs> Or the ship. Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> this is outside of my area of expertise, so I'm expecting one of you to have a plan. Outside of mine as well. It's not a plan, but it's an idea. And I start walking towards the cargo bay to go outside of the ship just to attempt repairs on the outside, see what all damage is out there. Right. I'm just gonna go give the ship a walk around like a 
good pilot and amazing ship protector Jasons. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Waiting on the ship. Of course. Uh, hmm. I don't want to steal Citra's answer, so... Can I make it a two... Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. I just need to know, staying on ship or going outside the ship? Staying on ship. Okay. I don't fit well in the spacesuit. <laughs> Gar on. It's stuffy in here, so we are definitely going outside. We are on a... There's a breathable atmosphere, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. I kind of vaguely remember going outside. That's right. Yeah. It's the only yep. reason I have no problem just going outside. I know we threw Gar out of the cargo <laughs> bay. Right. Yeah. My bad. Sara. Yeah. 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 Previous few hours are kind of blurry and hazy, so we just uh, we'll go outside, taking a gun with us. You know what? We're gonna do a light load. With my knife, my gun, and a communicator. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Am, I, am I allowed to change my loadout slightly for this? Okay. On the ship with our stuff. Uh, if Alex don't count towards the loadout, that's all right. Currently. Chill. Uh, Trust and believe Alex is going to have a lot of fun deleting stuff off your guys' sheets if you decide to just. <laughs> <laughs> this is gone, that's gone, that's gone, that's gone. If was maybe like a planet like nearby, maybe, but we don't know the fuck we are. We're not trying to all die of suffocation in the cockpit There's together. That's the mm. Alright. Well then uh, odds will be outside <laughs> All right. Uh, Farah, you had an idea. Uh, maybe try to attune and see if there's anything nearby. I don't know the exact range of it, but anything is possible with this thing. Fair enough. All right. Anything. Making an attune roll to see if there's anything I can detect within. However far this attune roll gets me. Control standard. <laughs> Control standard. Mostly because it tells you the Try a different approach, or else do it with a minor consequence. Damn it. No. <laughs> Not which part? No, we're, uh... We're gonna not try anything else on that. We're going with the I'm... minor consequence? No, I mean we're not gonna push it <laughs> forward. She's done. Oh. <laughs> Uh, Adam was like, no, we're not trying anything else. It's like, okay, then minor consequence. Yeah. Out of but, curiosity, because I did put that chaos dot in a tune. Uh-huh. Is that. <laughs> I've been thinking the <laughs> one Does one oh, person no. using it potentially let the other, another person know they used it? It depends on how they're currently using the way. Okay. Because there was that lady in the ca- in the casino who I could sense was using the way next to Gar. He's definitely flirting with him. Okay. I'd be thinking that too, shit. Me too. Like, especially last time when you got, like, two sixes. But then I didn't. Hanging on, a, busy. hanging on a madness network. <laughs> right? Okay, judging by the answer, I'm just gonna assume no. It depends if anybody's like actively like looking, searching, etc. 
Sintra would literally never be doing that, so okay. Yeah. I was more communicating. I didn't know if Sintra was going to, going to attempt to use the ring. She has no shit. <laughs> she is not in charge of the dot I put in the tune. <laughs> Yeah. Right. Now Matt's in charge of it. Good job. Okay. That's how it was for me. I was gonna hold on to that for a while, and then he's like, "No, roll a tune." <laughs> I assure you, it'll make sense. In the future. Hey, I really like how the story has gone with that. I'm a big fan. All right, Sintra, what are you doing? Hmm. Feet up, reading Al's data pad. Al's data pad of stuff that he stole from the lab? Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's the one. I just wanted to make sure it was data. Mm -hmm. That's the one. Excitement. I'm really good. Oh, yeah. Are you guys in separate places or are you guys hanging out in the same place? I assume oh. we'd stay in the cockpit. I'm going to stay in the cockpit in case someone hurts themselves. <laughs> well, go ahead and give me a study. Okay. Vara, <laughs> you're very focused on, on your trying to reach out with the wing. You don't really notice it. <laughs> Standing there, you're reading, like, you glance, and it's just like the picture that you see currently displayed on the wing. Mm -hmm. You see vast wonder, and then, so if you're looking at the moon, you see how there's like the lens flare at the bottom side of the moon? Mm -hmm. That seems to be lighting up a vibrant neon. It was like just for a second, and then like you like blink, and when you come back, it like looks like normal. From the moon. However, that lens flare appears. Just imagine that green for a minute. Sintra's gonna look up and stare at it to see if it does it again. And she's gonna assume it's the drugs. Back to the mm -hmm. data pad. As you're sitting there, like staring at it, like real hard, and you're like, I guess it was just a little weird. And it's like, you like lean back in your chair to go back on the data pad. And, like, you feel like just the slightest bit of weight on your right shoulder. You look, and little tiny Irvine sitting there, just covered in like neon green fluorescent. Just like stares at the data pad, just looks up at you, like little mechanical worrying, like, right? Mm -hmm. uh, where, where did you come from? I've always been here. It like hops down and like scuffles <laughs> With it's just Curve one, bus. with it's just, with it's just one little leg, like hobbling away. <laughs> So it like pops up, like trying to see where it went. <laughs> There's so many like nooks and crannies of little vents and stuff. It like just like escapes into like a tiny place. It's set of the couch. <laughs> Somebody get a broom. Uh, are you are you good? Are you okay? Did you just hear or hear something? Far, you definitely no. hurt. Uh, a little bit of a, but. Just assumed it was them working outside. What? What's up? There's, there's a, there's a tiny, there's a tiny little, little, little bot here somewhere. Okay. Um. It like, it like scampered. But like one leg. Just, just hopped along and. Uh-huh. It was green. You see the green? Uh, yeah. Don't make that face. Don't make that face. Can you calm It's a tiny, one-legged 
I was when I was green looking for Jace while we were falling towards the planet. I thought I saw something green in the hull of the ship, but I didn't sense anything with the way when I was down there. Would you, if it was not? I actually don't know. Oh. Hmm. Jason Gar, you guys could both also get the study of ways. See if you know this. Do 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 do. Control. No. No. <laughs> one for the number of eyes Gar has left. Oh, one for the number of eyes Jay shot out of Gar. It's <laughs> fine, perfect outside. It's completely on the planet. There doesn't seem to be any problem or anything. But man, that, that, then the asteroids didn't seem to work. Mm hmm. That's probably why you don't keep surrounding because it's kind of just like, my ship! And Gar's just like, our ship! Our! <laughs> our ship! All of us equally. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I'm going to just start working on attempting to repair as much of the hole as I actually can to make it somewhat space worthy all right and i do have the mechanics kit and the repair tools um both would i use both of those repair, repair tools so that's so plus one you're fixing right now you're trying to actually <laughs> patch holes in the ship. oh yeah I, I brought both actually i brought all three tool kits just to be safe <laughs> Hey, I got a five. Right, Yay! One of the four holes patched. Up. Oh. So three more. Yay. Yeah. Uh, I won't roll now. I'll let you know. Okay. Gar. Mm hmm. Here we go. Hey. Oh. <laughs> right now. So fucking resolved. Chase isn't dying out here yet. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Hey, I'm I get burned out. Disappointed. Oh, yeah. Everything's going perfectly outside. Right? Sintra's going to pick up her communicator and just be like, still alive out there? Which one of us are you calling? I brought a communicator, did you? Yeah. Okay. Um, did, did yeah, still out here. Okay. Yeah. Oh, nothing. One hole fixed. On the ship's communicator. Freaking a little like intro music thing happens. So only Sentra and Far. This is for you guys. But, but like, there's a, a small ping of ding dong, ding dong, 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 dong. Uh, I'll answer the space gate. <laughs> space billies. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> space next. <laughs> Asteroid yeah. billies? Is that the one? Oh, no, we were talking about unknown Henson. <laughs> we were. Oh, damn you, racist Dracula. <laughs> Wait, what? We'll get into it later. Yeah. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh hi there, y'all. I couldn't help but notice a uh, 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 ship looks like it done, done, done gone on crash on down there. On that, that, that heat. Y'all all right down there? 
Um, for the for the most part. Uh, for most part. Yes. Uh, hello. Hi. Where are you? Where are you? Me. I'm Jimmy. Hello, Jimmy. My name is J Jimmy Billy. Excuse me. <laughs> Sounds a double dragon. Just like what, what's your his... name there, sweetheart? Uh, Claire. Hi. Claire, that's beautiful. Why? Thank you. Oh, I see somebody is not a fan of my dulcet tones, <laughs> given by that massive, massive eye roll. <laughs> Them, them cybernetics, they might fall out. They're perfectly secure, thank you. Perfectly secure. Alright, well. Well then, good. Uh, is everything alright? You guys need help or nothing? No help needed, thank you. No help needed. Alright, well, y'all be safe. And we'll keep this channel open should you decide you, uh, should something else come up. Hope you get out of there within the next, like, little bit. Oh, why is that? What? Turn, the bit turns off. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Sintra. <laughs> pirates. There are pirates around here. Yes, unfortunately, we don't have too many options. Maybe a little goodwill might have come our way. Um, when someone, like, starts a link like that, do they leave, like, um, like a, not a phone number, but, like, an identification yeah. number I can oh, look yeah. up? Uh-huh. Can I... Can I try to yeah, you space can, Google you, them? You, you can give me a... <laughs> let me look at the chat sheet. See what the appropriate one is going to be. Star 69, this guy. <laughs> it's research. Uh, we'll go study. Studies for knowing things and whatnot. That's research. Hey! Hey! hey. Oh. That was a hail from a vessel known as the Cosmic Crawdad. <gasps> Cosmic Crawdad. Does it have like any affiliations? Affili nope. Uh, pure neutral. Uh, it has a couple of um, like if you pull up and like do like a, a space research on it, uh, it's been known to mess with the or not mess with, but uh be party to some events uh, involving like outlaws and um, it's gotten in some fights with pirates, it's gotten in some fights with the Empire the, the yeah. Cosmic Crawdad is both a a towing vessel but it is also sometimes rumored also be a fighting vessel in that it is a very reputed grappler ship. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> hey, the okay. team guys, sorry. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... call outside folk again. <laughs> Jason Gar. I'll also be on this. What way to call now? Oh, still out here. You making What's any up? progress? Oh, well, we got one hole patched. This is doing great. Cool. Gar cool. is standing guard. Always. Guard. Uh, one hole patched out of how many? Three or four. Okay. So we were hailed by a vessel. Oh? Cosmic Crawdad. Either of you heard of it? Mmm. Matt. Nah. Study. <laughs> what I have heard of this, considering um, my 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 allies list. Uh huh. Oh yeah, Centra. I'm very familiar with the Cosmic Crawdad. Did you? Did you have sex with his sister? <laughs> no, no. I mean, it was no. Uh, you probably did. <laughs> not that uh, I remember. Go right? with it. Everybody's not Deka. <laughs> Uh, the person who hailed us was named Jimmy Billy, is that? Uh -huh. Jimmy, he's still alive. Good no, shit. So this is someone you know, someone who may have been earnest in his attempts to help us, and I just kind of like 
and look over at Sintra like, Jace, hmm. you would you would know that they're probably not Ernest. <laughs> I mean, Ernest isn't the term I would use. What term would you use? But... What type of Circus payment peoples. does you expect? The typical kind. They generally take what they can get their hands on. That is not I mean, they like credits, just it's like everyone no else. Breath. We're kind yeah, of like far credits. out there, Jace. Payment could be anything. Oh, I'm sure we can always come to some sort of agreement with them. I worked with them a little bit back in the day. Um, they, they were... The whole accidental getaway driver thing? Yeah, that, that was for them. If we were to uh, drop your name, would, be, would they be more inclined to uh, possibly help us? Yeah, I'm less inclined. I mean, I... Depends. If it's Jimmy that answers, he might be more inclined to help us. Help us. If it's his cousin that answers, it uh, depends on the cousin. How many cousins are there? <laughs> yes. Um, that's not a number. They, they, they are the Bayou Billies for a reason. <sighs> okay, well, I advise you hurry up or else we are likely going to have to figure out what payment he accepts. Like I said, credits. There is some They're kind also... of something happening soon. Hmm. What do you mean? Volcanic activity. Uh, we don't uh, know because Sintra. Sandstorm. Up... I don't know. Sintra rejected the help before he could uh, fill us in. You do not accept help from unknown parties. It wasn't even help at that point. It would have just been information, which we kind of need right now. Well, I, I got us information you. about him. That's, that is someone that Jace worked with that may help us? Would you rather... You know what? Never mind. Hurry it up, hey. Jace. They might be criminals, but they're still good folk. Why do you have an accent all of a sudden? Because <laughs> I can't hear myself talking, unfortunately. I just slipped back after the mention of the bills. <laughs> no, no, genuinely, it's gonna actually. Hey, it was Jace Billy. Your buds in. <laughs> Jace Billy. Um, no, they're they're good people. I mean, for the most part. Sure, they're criminals, but I mean. We You'll have to forgive people. me if your definition of good people leaves much to be desired. Please proceed with the repairs. Okay. If you guys want to give them a call back, ask them to send someone over to help us out, that'd be much appreciated. Much appreciated, Sintra. Then you call him back and you do the negotiating, my do That's I what you are supposedly good at. Yeah. All over the comms. <laughs> I'm just gonna, uh, and I, I'm gonna hang up and, and just go back to fixing the hole. Give me another nope. <laughs> Four. Yeah. Draw, try a different approach, or else do it with a minor consequence. Uh, I'll take the minor. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Working on the ship, minor consequences could be a hole that we all get sucked out through. <laughs> that seems like a major consequence, to be fair. Yeah, yeah, that would be cool. more of a major, in my opinion. Half sucked out of a hole. I really want to be sucked out of half. Half would be catastrophic. Yeah, I've seen Jason X. <laughs> Gar, give me another study room. Yes, sir. <sighs> Feel controlled? Oh, yeah. Hey, there we go. Oh. Hell yeah. 
just into that Cyclops look. Huh? Choose my good eye. <laughs> oh no, it's that guy. It's your only eye. Ooh, guns always work, except for when they don't. So it's like, like Jace, like doing the whole like welding glass, welding, repairing, trying to repair. Looks like they're doing a kind of okay job. But somewhere in the distance, ahead of you, you hear. <laughs> Looking. <laughs> Moving a little bit closer, but still not leaving, I guess, this clearing we're in. <laughs> the, the, one of the hills ahead of you, it's like, as like you're like looking harder and like you went, then like when you pull out the gun, it's like, you swear you see something move. In the hill ahead. You're going to be at this for a while, Jace. It's going to take me a little while to get everything fixed, yeah. Keep. Why? Keep your calm open and. Try to keep a try to keep an ear open. Something moving okay. out there. Comms to the inside. To your best Hello. Way. So far, you're getting prepared to go talk with space hillbillies. Okay. Then your personal calm goes off. Yeah. Yes, hello. I'm been moving out here. Mm. I'm gonna go investigate. Uh, Gar, I don't know if that would be wise to leave the ship's uh, perimeter. How how far away did you uh, see it moving? I ain't good at judging distance anymore, but it was a good little while's out, so I'm I'm gonna go see about it. I can you maybe just stay at the ship to hopefully help us if something comes closer? Oh, I can meet it halfway there. Yeah, sure. Let's roll that sway. Uh, position. Or. That's resolve. Dang. <laughs> then I need words. I ain't putting my gun away, but something's out there. Right, I would prefer you keep your gun out as it were, but yes, just please stay behind and keep an eye on things closer to the ship. Understood. Thank you, Gar. That's a feat. <laughs> All right, inside. All right, uh, me and Sintra are both still in the cockpit area. All right, uh, let's call Jimmy Billy. <laughs> you call him the Cosmic Crawdad? Yeah, the Cosmic Crawdad. Hat back on. <laughs> Hell yeah. Is that a different uh, hat? I, 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 it is a different hat. Oh, no. By the way, oh, no. I it, real quick, I figured out a good reason as to why Jace would just switch accents. It's because of the traveler thing. <sighs> Tom comes back up. Different guy sitting there in the cockpit. Wait a minute. Question. We've met a black-headed individual before, and I know there's pro 
probably more black hats, but... This is, this is a different black hat than the original. Okay, just, <laughs> just make sure. Oh, black hats look the same to you? <laughs> Me wow, <I'll> Colin. <laughs> Oh, far I actually just glad it wasn't her this time. <laughs> right? It's all good. She'll get one soon. Hey. Uh, hello. Uh, to whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? Just Billy? Billy Billy. Oh, all right. Uh, hello. This is uh, Clara. We... No, well, it's it's Clara. <laughs> um, there may have been some interference or something. Um, we talked to, I'm guessing, a cousin of yours, uh, Jimmy Billy, earlier. That's my brother. Thank you very much. I'm very sorry. I did not mean to assume. <laughs> it's too. <laughs> uh, you look great. <laughs> we all the same to you, is what you're trying to say? No, he just mentioned. I'm very sorry if I flip you, but he did uh, offer a hand of help that we would be very appreciative of taking him up on. If that oh, is still. Good. This is the first time we've met. We were reputed for. Oh, I'm sorry. That was. He would probably. You were referring to my. And I'm doing a gesture. This is uh, my crewmate, uh, Ruth. Uh, she's not the friendliest. She doesn't even like me that much. No, not at all. There's, there is. there's like the the audible sound, which is weird because you guys, everything's like you know touch screens and stuff. But like it sounds like click clacks of keyboards, like on his end is like off. Like he's sitting there, but like you can clearly see like a hand moving as he's like typing. So I'm like, uh huh. Well, is that offer of help still on the table? What kind of help you need there, Claire Clara? And uh, well, our ship is in some minor need of repairs. We'd like to help. We would be very appreciative, sorry, of some help with that. Uh, barring that, uh, if you could uh, maybe give us a tow to the nearest uh, spaceport. I've heard. Well, sure. Uh, you just pick me your coordinates down there on that there rock, and uh, we'll, we'll be down in Jeff. All right. Uh, thank you very much, Billy Billy. You're very welcome, Claire Claire. Turn off the calm. <laughs> very well done. How much is it going to cost us? We didn't get to that part. We didn't, we didn't get there, Claire Claire? <laughs> Out of character, I thought I said Clara earlier. That wasn't like it's so well. Now totally it's funny. Claire earlier. Uh-huh. It's totally fine. Totally fine. <laughs> yeah, totally not going to backfire on both of you uh, when, well, when and if they, they see Jace. Jace had the opportunity to say anything, and he said that they would maybe be willing to help us out, so. Just to. He also said mention his name. I didn't get a chance. I wanted to do. Eh, whatever. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. It's fine. Grab the calm again. Um, Jace, quick question. Quick answer. Theoretically, if they name a price we can't pay, what happens? Well, we can always do a favor for him. Favor for him? What kind of favors does he ask for? Well, they're typically small time crime. Mm-hmm. They might need help on a job. I don't think they would ask anything too unreasonable. They, could, they are also equally fine with just taking the ship. That they, if it got to this point, they I mean, got got to the point. They are also just fine taking the ship. Oh. 
Perfect. Thank but, you, Jace. Uh, Hangs up the call. <laughs> We're just ending conversations early. <laughs> Vampire all over again. <laughs> Agar, from down below, you're just gonna hear Jace go, does she really just fucking hang up on me again? <laughs> no answer. Still staring. I still look forward to seeing all this negotiation you're good at. Are you kidding me? I'm looking forward to gumbo. Uh, you guys have kept me around for that reason, so... Being very rude today, Ruth. Good day. I'm just being very realistic, Claire Clara. I love how both of you have called have called out to Jace at this point. Neither one of you have thought to mention your fake names at this point. <laughs> yep, I've thought of that, don't worry. It's fine. Mm -hmm. So Farah. I was actually going to talk to Cintra about that since you've okay, been. So, well, if you are so adverse, they already are expecting us to send them coordinates. Would you like me to have them meet us somewhere else away from the ship, or? Can I use perhaps study to kind of weigh the statistics here of telling them, knowing what they do, like, is there like a space moral code I can try to roll a study on to see statistically which way we should go? Oh, I'm, I am sure whatever I know is extremely stereotypical. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it's also, you know, Space uh, risky. <laughs> and it's also, uh, you know, those <laughs> risky standards. Because, you know, you, you just have a lot of biased assumptions. I really do. Preconceived notions. I'm just, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna uh, wing it and role play it then. Okay. Roll a hard six. I've already rolled one six. That's all I get per night. Mm. Six. Judging uh, by the space crime culture I've experienced thus far, <laughs> I would say. Um, at this point, to deceive them would be a bad idea. But no, they probably don't mean us entirely well. I am aware of that. So I ask for your input on this. So I shall go ahead and send them our coordinates. And ask them how much we owe. All right, I'll give them another call. <laughs> beep boop boop beep. beep. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Well, hi there, Claire. It's, uh, it's actually Claire. I think something might have interfered, but... Uh, uh, you know, my ears, they ain't as good as they used to be, I guess. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure they're quite functioning. Um, we spoke with your brother, uh, Billy Billy. Uh, oh. we called, uh, he said y'all would be willing to come help us. Uh, we just... Oh, you guys want help now? Uh, yes. Yes, please. Um, I mean, confirmed I mean, that, with that's our... probably for the best. You know, the two pretty ladies like you shouldn't be out here in deep space like that. Oh, we actually, uh, don't worry. It's not just us. We have uh, a friend of, uh, two friends, one of which you may know. Uh, are you familiar with a Jace? Nope, don't ring no bell. Oh, 
unfortunate. Uh, but regardless, uh, yes, uh, so we wanted to send you those coordinates, and we did want to check uh, if there was a price associated with this job and how much that may be. I mean, that depends on, like, the nature of everything that we have to do to help y'all and stuff. Like, you know, like, like materials ain't cheap, like, okay. fuel for towing, like, you know, the double loads going to make things a little bit more difficult. And so, um, yeah. don't worry, we'll figure that all out. All right, um, right now, we'll just be neighborly, helping neighbors. Oh, well, I appreciate that, but, you know, we wouldn't want to uh, enlist your services and not be able to properly, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Compensate. Compensate, thank you. All right. <laughs> I legitimately forgot the word. <laughs> so how much does... Converted bank calendar. How much is the average uh, tow job for a vessel such as ours usually? Uh, the nearest spaceport, if possible. Nearest spaceport, which one? Uh, I'm not familiar with the area, unfortunately. Oh, so, so we're going to be doing navigating for you too. Okay, that's cool. We'll, think we'll be able to find you a good destination. Not a problem. Click clack, click clack, click clack. Just add that onto the bill. Well, what's your uh, bill fee calculation thus far? Uh, don't know. Don't know where we're going yet. Don't know the state of your ship. I mean, we won't know until we get there, you know? Uh, yes, uh, uh, completely understandable. Right, right, right. All right. Uh, anything uh, you can think of to add, uh, Ruthie? Yes, this is my sister, uh, Ruth. I call her Ruthie. She doesn't particularly like... You know how <clears throat> younger sisters can be. <laughs> I would prefer to stay away from the Imperial space. <laughs> you and me both, Sister Ruth. Ruth, Ruthie. Does no one do nicknames? We here in Billy Clay, uh, we fully believe in using the actual names. Like using using false names is just you know deceit and lies. No, <laughs> man. <laughs> Is there a role I can make to see how aware of our bullshit he is? Uh, I'm sure he is. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me look at his name. Alright, Christ. Uh, yeah, maybe I'm fine. Stu stu study is the uh, observing things role, so. Study. Uh, position. position. Uh, control stand. You're just having a nice civil conversation. Level four words. Hmm. This one, he seems to fully believe everything you've told him. Bless his <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, well, I'll just go ahead and send you those coordinates then, and we'll see you soon. All right, yeah, my mom. The quicker the better. All right, thank you very much. Why? Oh, why? Uh, you're 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 in a really not good place right now, and it would be best to get you off there lickety split. What's not good about the place we are? Uh, the inhabitants. Look at that, that one. <laughs> Your vocabulary is. Stunning. Thank you, Ruth Ruthie. What type of inhabitants uh, might the, we face? Uh, the ones that dwell below that come out when the sun is gone. And how long do we have before sunset? About two hours. All right. Well, thank you. I will send you those coordinates and we will see you shortly. Uh, 
Is there a speed fee? I mean, we can. There is an expedition fee, yes, ma'am. Yes, Miss Ruth Ruth Ruthie. If uh, you guys would like that uh, added on. Very helpful if we knew what the total was at this point. Uh, well, again, I'm not going to be able to give you a total. Like we, <laughs> we, are, to... we are sisters of our word, and we would hate to mislead you. Uh, currently, we're standing at about uh, 80,000 credits. Very well. We're going to contact our shipmates, and we'll get right back to you. All right. Well, we will wait for your reply. Mm-hmm. Uh, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> he actually like big tooth. He's missing like at least five teeth. I'm sorry, which of us got a number? You did? <laughs> I like them apples. Farah, you seem to be processing awfully hard. I'm legit, no, that out of character, I'm not sure what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, maybe he just prefers you more, but let's relate, uh... But I'm just mean tra- one. Trail off, call, uh, Jace. Mm. Hello? Uh, hello, Jace. Uh, how's the ship repairing going? Well, it's, uh, it's going. Alright, well, we, uh, contacted your, uh, associates again. Uh... They're on their way out here. The current total is standing at about 80,000 credits. Uh, how much do we have? 90,000 credits. Gar, how much did you get from that vault? 90,000. 90,000? How much did you 90, gamble? I broke even. Really? Yeah. Because I'm lucky. Mm hmm. 80,000. Uh, Jace, they did not, uh, Jimmy Billy did not seem to know who you are. Well, that name drop wasn't, uh, Which one did you talk to? We talked, uh, first we talked to Jimmy Billy, and then we talked to his brother, Billy Billy. And then we talked to Jimmy Billy again, which is where uh, your name was brought up, and he did not seem to know you. Which name did you give him? Your name, Jace. Mm. Mm. Wait, was he the Billy Billy that was missing teeth, or the one that had that was missing a thumb? Uh, missing teeth. Oh, uh, yeah, that one I didn't talk too much. It's the one that's missing the thumb that I talked to more. Which one is the one missing the thumb? Billy, just with an IE instead of a Y. Oh, God. Anyway, did they give you a time as to, like, roughly how long it's going to take for them to get out here? Uh, without the expeditious fee. Two and a half hours, but we have two hours before we are apparently overrun with cave people. So, I knew I saw something moving. Cool. I'm going to say maybe the thing that Gar saw off in the distance. Gar, you saw stuff off in the distance? Leaning back over the edge of the ship. Oh, I told you. You told me, uh, you told me to keep an eye out or an ear okay. out. Less talking, more welding. Yay. Do, 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 roll it. Four. (laughs) 
Don't worry, Centurion. I've only got like one hole left. As for what else is wrong with the ship, not a clue. <laughs> Do you want to reduce or avoid the consequence and take two stress or take no stress and have a little bit of a consequence? Hmm. I have so much empty stress, but. <laughs> This is super boring so far, so let's let's get funky. Let's play a little jazz out there. Let's take that consequence. Two deep, two one, let's go. Of the ship, yeah. Right. There's a little bit of back and forth and stuff, and like Gar's like standing there, and very suddenly smells something so delicious. Smells. Like Still haven't food. eaten. It smells like balls <laughs> on top of the plate, just being served, and you just start walking towards the hills. Jace, you're able to see Gar. Gar's like conversation, conversation, kind of, kind of like drifts, and then like just starts. Gar. Gar, where are you going? Communicator's still on, so these oh. these two can hear that. Gar? Gar, where are you going? You can't smell it? No. Oh, so I'll bring you some back if there's any left. Uh, Gar, and really really two of the cockpit, you you're able to see Gar, like, starting to, like, leave the ship and just, like, walk off into the horizon. Uh, Gar, we, we talked about it. It'd be best to stay with the ship. It'd be best to get something in my stomach because it's not going to be a very good trip. Because <laughs> I'll start to get cranky and I don't want to be cranky around you guys. It's just not a good look. I'm sure we have something you can eat on the ship, Gar. If there was, I would have eaten it by now. I'll be back. Don't worry. Just keep your comms open. I'm going to worry. Then we're both doing something. Will you go with him? I'm still fixing the ship. Uh, uh, look at Citra. I'll go with him. All right, thank you. Oh, Tom, we'll bring you some back if there's any left. Citra grabs her shit <laughs> just from the pile and heads out. Mm. <laughs> oh, you gave me another rig roll. Uh, four and five. I did. Uh, that, that's again, uh, either stop what you're doing or another minor consequence. I'll take another minor. <laughs> Things are slow right now. You got it. You got two hours. Let's see what happens. Let's see how this all shakes out. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> all right, uh, Sintra. Uh huh. Uh, give me a skull. Okay. Scramble. Sorry, skull, oh. skull. Scramble. Scramble. Let's see if you can catch up with Gar, because Gar did not stop. Uh uh Hungry boy, about to become a hungry man. Oh no. <laughs> Gar, I have candy. <laughs> Shakes bag of treats. That sounds like a snack. Or is the can opener? <laughs> uh, all right, uh, with that roll. Um, 
press on and be able to catch up with them, but you're going to be a risky roll on your next roll. Or you stop and don't stop so that you don't like trip and fall over all these rocks and potentially like hurt yourself, but Gar's going to be well ahead. I'm just meandering in his direction. <clears throat> just in his direction. There's only well, one set of footprints. Kind of a slow option. He's, he's welcome to get way ahead of me. Mm -hmm. Uh, the Billies can only call the the ship, right? They can't call my communicator. I guess I'm waiting in the cockpit, waiting for them to call back. Okay. <laughs> hmm. That face. <laughs> Yes, sir. What are you doing? You see Gar like wandering off, and then eventually, like Sintra, just like kind of like cat calling, shaking a bag of treats. <laughs> lazily, I want lazily, chicken. Lazily I want liver. Yeah, six meow makes please deliver. Good. <laughs> and then I just keep working on the ship. As, as Sintra Mosey, she's going to communicate her back to far on the ship. Hello. Hi. Um, Have you uh, met up with Gar? Oh, no, he's gone pretty far ahead. Uh, I'll get there eventually. Um, just so we're clear, you should probably call the Billies back and let them know we have exactly 80. Alright, I will. I will and if you could negotiate, what you can for that. Oh, negotiator. Yep. And then I just hang up. <laughs> hang up a Palooza. <laughs> Nobody says goodbye anymore. <laughs> Alright, uh, call the Billy's back. <laughs> Roll for hat. Oh no! A third more menacing Billy. It's me, Darth Billy. <laughs> Grim Billy. I use the fortune oh, no. switch. For the way, I guess. He's gonna go find a hat that represents a Billy with no thumb. Mm. <laughs> Billy with three thumbs. Bobby Billy. Oh. Head Billy. No. Billy Billy Jr. Boss Billy. The trucker head! Hell yeah. Oh no. The, the actual pure joy I just saw. Watch <laughs> Chris I like liking things. Hell yeah. Cam, cam, cam clicks on. Uh, hello? Hi there. Um, to whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? Ricky Billy? Very nice to meet you. My name is Clara. I see you. Clara Bear. Um, I, I guess I'm assuming you've spoken with your uh, crewmates. That's uh, the camera. <laughs> this laughing is not in character, by the way. I'm sorry. <laughs> How right. old does he look? You real parent. You look like maybe like fourteen. Mm. <laughs> oh, you're not even there. Uh, uh. I know, but uh. <laughs> going to space jail. <laughs> oh no! Already been again, again for the third time. <laughs> I, um, is there a um? <laughs> Uh, may I speak with uh, Jimmy Billy or Billy? an adult on the phone? <laughs> they're they're busy right now. Uh, they they told me that if if, if them ladies come calling, it was like that that I should answer. Uh, very good. Um, 
Well, we are eagerly awaiting your arrival. Uh, oh, we're coming? Your, uh, that is what uh, Jimmy Billy told us, yes. No, Jimmy Billy, you guys said, you guys don't, you guys don't say it. That, that, that you need to talk about expedited versus not expedited so we've just been waiting for y'all to call us back oh uh well then uh we've made the talk about the expedited uh yes uh yeah. yes uh Jimmy Billy informed us it would be 80,000 credits to uh come out here and uh give us your services uh, current standing price uh we don't know what Currently, paying taxes is what right. them talking. Correct. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> uh, unfortunately, we may not have the total uh, sum. So I was okay. wondering. Mm -hmm. Okay, indeed. Um, <laughs> I was uh, wondering if we could perhaps uh, barter a bit. What's that? Um, haggle. Uh, talk price. Our fees are non-negotiable. <sighs> that is unfortunate. Uh, what if we perhaps offered some uh, other services in exchange uh, instead of monetary? <laughs> Guys, they willing to fuck us. No, we are not. No, we are not. Uh, I'm very sorry to damage. They offered. They offered other form of payment. I was referring to perhaps. Uh, <clears throat> um. <clears throat> I never laid with no. those civilized women before. I'm very sorry, but that is not on the Bar table. Date. Um, I was thinking perhaps, uh, other stuff, non, uh, They want to do the freaky stuff! No, we do not. No, we do not. Um, <laughs> uh, Them city women are crazy, y'all! Ricky Billy, uh, I don't know. Oh. There's an older Billy you could perhaps put on the, uh, yeah. com. <laughs> Uh, we have no, no, none of that. Uh, Same on you. Oh, uh, Bard's going to jail again. No, no. I'm going to make sure I get me a nice shower. No, no. Can I, is there a role I could make to get this kid to get somebody else? He's literally walking off camera. He's left camera off. So you're Hello? just seeing the entire cockpit. And... Oh, is there another Billy I could speak to? Claire, Claire, are you making a pass at my younger brother? I am not. There, he has some, he has a very bit of imagination, but no. Uh, oh, are you too good for us now? I'm too old for him. Uh, but, Anyways, hi no, there. Uh, uh, I heard something uh, about uh, a, a desire to hack. Yes. Um, unfortunately, we may not have enough to reach your uh, fee. I was wondering if there could be have a uh, trade or of some sort. Maybe exchange of services. Oh, non she's totally freaking offered. <laughs> a trade of non-sexual uh, favors, perhaps. Oh, God. <sighs> Well, we have a doctor on the ship. I don't know if any of you are in need of a regular checkup or anything, but uh, we I'm sure she'd be more than happy to provide. Uh, a lot of porn starts. Medical services. Uh, I myself am a lawyer, uh, so if there were any maybe troubles with the law, I could help you get out of those boxes. We're on the run from cops right now. It's circling the planet. <laughs> Yes, uh, perhaps uh, some legal assistance might be in order. I mean, I don't think you'd really be able to help us with that, Claire. Oh, uh, you never... I'm, well, I'm sure... I'm 
one of the galaxy's best lawyers. I'm, I'm sure. Uh -huh. Uh, can I make a sway to see if I can maybe get him to agree to something? Uh, you can make a sway or you can make a study. Uh, the fact that you brought that up. Yeah. Alright, uh, position. Uh, control. Stand. Hmm. Maybe it's the, the, the way he's saying Claire or the whole, like, I don't think you'd actually be able to help us that much. Something's like... Something's off in the different times you've talked to Jimmy though. Something has changed. Hmm. I swear to god, if this is like a Tyler Perry and it's one dude in like several different hats, I'm gonna be pissed. Well now it's gotta be. I'm just gonna right. be <laughs> Oh god. He's it's a uh, Hydra. <laughs> well, hypothetically, if we were not able to come up with the fee, what would our options be? I mean, I'd largely be able to, uh, to Billy Billy. Because, uh, you know, he, he's a bottle of stuff right now. But, I mean, it could be anything from, like, you know, a job for us. Take we don't want that, unfortunately. We do need our ship, too. <laughs> True. Well, I would... Uh, what kind of job, you maybe? That is... That is nice, but we, uh, much like yourselves, I'm sure, we also require our ship for our income. We don't do that here. Back to back to the job that we could potentially do. I mean, there's a whole whole heap, whole heap of crime we get ourselves on into. Yeah. Heaps. All right. Uh, how does that weigh out? Is there like a, if we do a job that's like would get you X amount of money? Do we then get X amount off our bill? Is that how it works, or? Uh, so like if if we do a job, we do a job. It's equivalent to the services rendered. Uh, give it to, like, pulls out, like, data pad and just starts reading off. Uh, like, services rendered, and uh, anything in excess amount of services rendered, you guys get to, would get to keep. Uh, if you fail said job, then, you know, like, you have to deal with the consequences of that. Being, like, mm -hmm. if you get caught, you know, we're not going to come spring you unless you want us to come spring you, in which case it's a whole different bill, and then the cycle mm -hmm. just continues, and then you'll be right. double dead. But yeah. Alright, well, in that case, uh, I would like to request the expedition, uh, and perhaps we will negotiate a job uh, when you arrive, perhaps? Uh, when I've had time to confer, uh, we can get the whole crew together and discuss that. I prefer, you know, the whole, like, get you off the rock before the rock gets you. That is preferable, yes. Um, so then how about come get us? Get us off, and then we uh, discuss the, uh, the job we could do. Yeah, for sure. Sounds like we got ourselves. A... She said what she said. Like <laughs> oh, yes, she did. All right, thank you. Very well. Oh. I'll see you soon, Farah. Uh, who's Farah? That is a great I... question. Camera clicks off really quick. <laughs> what I expected. All uh, right. Hmm. Um, everybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah, chopping, <laughs> chopping through bush. Dar. Uh, come to Sintra. So, just a quick relay. They are on our way. Uh, are they on? The, they are on their way. Uh, they said we could perhaps work out where we would do a job for them, uh, in lieu of payment. Cause I guess so. Mm -hmm, like you said, uh, when, when they first called, I gave a fake name because I wasn't exactly sure their uh, intentions. They somehow know my real name. It's like lying isn't the move, then, is it? Chop, 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 chop. 
car, please stop moving so I can catch up. I'm hungry and I can smell the food. You have I no have idea. Food. Gar, uh, can I please get you to regroup with Sindra and come back to the ship? I'm also hungry, so let me... I found the cave where the smell is coming if, from. If you come and you are not here, I don't know if I'd be able to convince them to wait or to go get you. Probably not it's for... It's going to be an extra fee. Exactly what I was thinking, so can you please make your way back to the ship, Gar? I'm so close. Right. I'm willing to wait for Sentra. Just wait until I get there. Can you, can you, how far does that debt you said you owe me go? Because mm -hmm. I'm willing to catch that one right now. <sighs> I'll call it, but if I'm cranky on this ship, I tried to fix that problem. I'm always cranky. My cranky hurts people. My cranky yeah. can. Ooh. Mm. Well, I have candy. I'm candy. Fixed. Okay. Well, that car that cave smells like me is what I half expect Matt to say. Oh, I smell it. I know what I smell. <laughs> oh, yeah. We are very impatiently waiting. Sentry's walking. <laughs> Minor. Nope, Always. <laughs> okay. right. Yeah, I'm waiting to see what Gar. I I pulled that card. What's uh, Gar gonna do? Gar's waiting for Sentra. Mm -hmm. Are you waiting for Sentra and then making your way back to the ship? We are waiting for Sentra. <laughs> are you waiting for Sentra and making your way back to the ship? You will make outside yeah. of a cave that is apparently <laughs> delicious. <laughs> delicious. Delicious. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hold out bag of snacks. Tasty of drugs. <laughs> tasty, tasty <laughs> drugs. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Got the, my three stress back. You get up to the mouth of the cave, and you're standing like next to Gar, who's also at the mouth of the cave. And glinting in the cave, there is just like one big smile, possibly the best. That's weird. What's weird? I thought this place was uncivilized. Yeah. But they got meat down there. They got Toro. I need that Toro. They have drugs in there. I don't care about the drugs. <laughs> I care about the drugs. Our, our crewmate's okay. Are we going in this hole? Because not, not go in the hole. Make your way back to the ship. Uh, roll, Guys, roll, roll me a command to sway or any of the socials that's not a jam. <laughs> uh, command sounds like the one thematically appropriate. Okay. And you guys will both roll resolve. You do not take stress for this resistance. Okay. Well, that's good. Oh. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> Gar and Sidge, Farah gives a command through the comms. Gar, Sidge, do you guys look at each other like what the fuck? Hmm. Guys, I'm sure we can get some food. Get over the comm. The food's right here. Just, just give me a minute, Farah. I don't, I don't trust that food, Gar. You're wise not to trust that food. It's pretty wise to not doubt on the Nalian intestinal system. I will use that word. My guts. <laughs> <laughs> Those were some big words for a second there, Gar. So far, you're standing there in, in the coffee. Or sitting mm -hmm. there, standing there, whichever. And, like, at this point, you've been able to, like, zoom with the cams. It's like, you can clearly see Gar and Sintra. And, like, they both ignore your command. Go and Oh, bitch, get out of the cave! Don't go into the cave! Gar, Citra is in the cave. You cannot eat your comms. Don't work it. Oh, I was gonna be like, sorry, you're cutting out. Yeah, here you're in the well, cave. Good, good news, you don't have to lie. The comms are cutting out. <laughs> we're, break, we're breaking up. We're, we're just, we're just I, can't, I can't hear you. <laughs> Wrinkle snack bag. Get some static in this cave. I'm totally in. <laughs> Jace, what are we gonna do? Jace, you are able to report it. Well, the hole's fixed. Well, the hole's fixed. How are our guns looking in case um, we have to shoot shit? Is that the me or Matt? Uh, either. Whichever one wants to answer that. I assume that, that there's probably a panel in the ship that displays gun status. <laughs> Weapon systems here. Oh yeah. Now that, that was me letting Farah know to let you know. Uh, uh, weapons are operational and will be performing well. Okay. Um Gar, Sentry, yeah. give me study rolls. You yeah. Control the standard. Uh -huh. Hey, yeah. that's a six. Uh -oh. Oh. All right, uh, you, you step through the cave and you wander deeper in, and you're looking around and like there's there's some strange symbols. They look kind of familiar, but and then Gar like it dawns and he's like. This is the stuff we need. This looks like I. Like I like stuff like I is written like you saw on that mm. ship. Uh huh. And then behind like one of the pillars of this cave you hear that same chittering sound. Only now Sentry, you now hear terrifying chittering sound. There's no burn. Uh, Nor is we it should, the of We should go. No deeper. Back away. Mm. This rider looks familiar. I've definitely seen this before. Did you just start popping shots into the room of the cave? Oh no, no, that's that's he was warning that trigger. I didn't, I didn't fully do it. Well, yeah, no, just... Garden, trigger finger. Something's not right. Let's go. I think I've had enough mystery, thank you. Hmm. <laughs> you called it. Let's go. Heads deeper into the show. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna try to stop it. <laughs> uh, try to grab his arm. Did, did, what stuff did you bring on your loadout? What do you mean, what stuff did I bring? 
physically stop or are you I'm, trying I'm, to I, stop? I mean, I brought that to you, but I'm, I'm trying to grab his arm. <laughs> physically mm -hmm. trying to grab his arm. Okay, cool. Give me a scrap. Oh, oh shit! Uh, the ninja doctor's back. Once again, <laughs> as Central Six. Yep. Oh, crap. Star, Star, you, you go like to start heading deeper in, and suddenly, like half Nelson. And so it's like arm under your arm, up under your pit, and fortunately, not drugged and not tracked herself. Scruff of neck, because she knows your physiology. Oh. <laughs> And now you're just being. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm so just sorry. Fully tenses up. <laughs> out. Out of cave. <laughs> Let's go out of cave. I can't tell if she's trying to be Russian. Where or... was this back on the <laughs> ship? <laughs> Not if you understand, we are leaving the cave. But well, we're already in here. Don't. Twist. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Aim scar toward opening of cave. We gotta go to Astro Church now. <laughs> How do you know about this? What the hell? I'm a doctor. Who else knows this? <laughs> Probably no one else. They don't really care to study. You're, you're probably not wrong. Are you walking? What else do you know? Good thing you're too. About me. Good thing you're too. This is probably a weird time to ask this. Are you scared? Are you? Are you? Are you scared of me? Am I scared of you? No? Okay, good. Hey, let me go now. This is embarrassing. Clara, you were able to see. It looks like Sintra <laughs> is like manhandling Gar out of, out of the cave. I'm going to try to calm again. I'll, I'll let him go the second we're yeah. out of the cave. Hello. We're coming back. Oh, good. You're coming back. From the cave that I told you not to go into. Why don't you come to the cave? I don't need to be in the cave. I need to we'll be We'll trade the ship. places. I'll come to the ship. There's some exactly. weird stuff in that cave. What kind of weird stuff? Was it the meat you wanted? There was writing. What kind of writing? Riding from the ship where we found I. I saw a weird green light earlier. Yeah. Wait, when? Earlier? The little robot thing you said you saw? No, in the sky. By the little water. robot. You see Jax? But it was fully was. it was fully dismantled by by uh, Alios. It was uh, it was part of Jax. Is it missing a leg? Yes. Hmm. I don't think we should go back in the cave. Don't grab yeah. me again. Don't go Why? back in the cave. Get back to the ship. Why are we going back in the cave? I mean, why do you want to come? Why would you like to go back in the cave? The sound. Communicator the off. Communicator off. <laughs> the sound of the atmosphere being broken. All four of you were able to hear that as the ship enters mm. the planet. Do you, believe, do you believe in fate? No. Cool. 
You ever think about things just happening for no reason? Plenty of things happen for no reason. You don't think it's weird that we ended up on another planet with writing that we've seen before? I think it's weird that Jace decided to get drunk before flying us through space. Does that weird seems things. to be the reason. I was getting drunk while flying us through space, thank you very much. <laughs> it's weird. Mm. I understand you would like to make sense of losing out. I'm not positive. Tempting cave sigils are going to give you the answer you would like. That's not going to answer that. That's going to answer a different question. What is the question? What the fuck is going on with I? We could alternatively ask I that. I feel like we can ask I in there. There's something in that cave. You guys see a vessel that looks really cobbled together. It's like clearly the parts of the ship that you can see are not the original parts. It looks like it's like this is an engine from one class ship, and the other one is like another engine that's just been like kind of like welded on. Like, there's like the body is like a, a full like circle like a saucer kind of situation there's two like little clampy arms hanging off of it on the side looks like you know like you know like pincers almost that's fucking so, red you, you swear you see a couple pieces of like scrap like fall off of it before you got <laughs> and then you're for sure real for sure about it because like off in like the distance not near you but like, there's like clunk, clunk, clunk. <laughs> how how long do we have until sundown? It was it was two hours. How long has it been? Oh. Maybe about. <clears throat> can I set a timer? Sure can. Um, Your comms can set. Hell set yeah. Set an hour like timer. <laughs> And then turn and head back to, to, into the cave. So Farah, you see them turn to start going back to the cave. And ding dong 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 Click. <laughs> Angrily. It's Billy Billy. Billy Billy. Hello there, Billy Billy. Play Eric Clare. Yes, uh, I saw your ship uh, approaching. Can't miss us. It's quite the vessel. Thank you. Um, you worked real hard on it. It shows. Um, I'm very, so, I'm very sorry. Um, there is a... A little bit of an incident going on with our crew. I'll need to um, go attend to it, but uh, one of our crew members, uh, Jace, uh, will be here to talk to you uh, and work that out. Okay, cool. Well, um, well if you're not, uh, it looks like we've got about like 35 minutes or so before uh, sundown fully kicks on, and this is uh, one of them, what we call sundown planets. Uh, you don't want to be here. Um, mm. But, um, you know, um, it's okay. Jesus we, Christ. Can, we can just add, we can just add danger fee onto the thing. If y'all aren't back in time, it's cool. All right. Uh, sounds good. All right. Oh, we'll confirm it. We'll, we'll, right, we'll, uh, we'll just float around waiting for your signal to... You can, uh, you can come down and, uh, talk to Jace. Uh, nah, nah, just nah, so nah, 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 I'm not, I prefer oh, to be able to make a, a expedited getaway if and we have to very well good luck I will thank you 
Alright, Farah is anger stomping out of the ship. Okay. Uh, <laughs> assuming Jace is still on the outside of the ship. I am. Angry clanging. Yeah. Clank, clank, like the grievous legs. <laughs> Your way over to the cave. Their path was cleared. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, passing Jace, like, dealing with idiots, stay at the ship. And you just hear, run, Forrest, run. <laughs> An archaic reference. A very archaic reference. It's, it's a little bit of a <laughs> Mm -hmm. What are we doing in the cave? Don't go in it into the cave. First step path back, looking for them runes again or them <laughs> the there. writing. They're all right there. Mm. Following the path. Chitters, so you're going deeper. I'm 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 going deeper behind Gar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, yeah. Uh, both of you go ahead and give me a study. Position. Risky. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> There, there's things like moving along the walls and the shadows. There are numerous things here in this cave. But it seems like as long as you're staying in the light from the mouth of the cave, they're, they're not coming anywhere near you. Blaster out. Fist yep. full of fur. <laughs> <laughs> Directing guard the direction of potential yeah. danger. I'll tell him. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, nope. Well, also, blaster the, out, just walking. Do things look like anything? Oh. Um, they look, uh, carapaced, uh, large, uh, bug like, but also human like. You haven't seen a Xeno of this kind before. That's strange. One eyed cat man fighting big bugs. When have I seen this before? You do have a big old awesome six. Uh, as like you continue to walk, like you'll be able to notice like you know, there's like some skeletal remains over there. There's various like gear strewn about. Different like. As I am a doctor, can I identify the species of the skeleton? Sure, uh, it's it's human. But here is like you're walking around and like looking like here looks imperial. Like uh, that's clearly like an imperial like rifle. It's like that looks like it's a, a case of uh, detonators. Hmm. And there, there's a weird like metal cylinder like half out of the dirt right in your pathway. Like you've never seen that. Stops. Just full of fur. That. <laughs> what? You're not the first um, to go exploring, and I don't know what we are about to step on. What? Where is it? Hmm. The hell is that? In front of us. <laughs> Looking at it. Any, any lights or anything, or is it just solid? Uh, it's solid. It looks like there's a switch. Oh. What is you that? Hear, you hear the trickling sounds of liquid. It sounds like water. Just a little bit of heat, but it's in the darkness. Uh, 
Look at the cylinder on the ground. I'm going to kind of reach out a foot to slightly nudge it, not hit the switch. Uh -huh. you, you, you nudge it, and like it like it like shifts into sand of this cave. Hmm. It dips like a little bit further down. Hello? Who is this? Who are we speaking to? Well, I don't. Inform me. Walking into that cave, because this is bullshit. Give me a two. Position? Uh, desperate. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. God. XP! You got that free XP. Uh, so oh, let's see. Effect uh, great. Mm. Oh. Can't intervene on myself, can I? You are not allowed to use oh. those redeems for yourself. Nope. Only for others. But oh. you know, Colin, one of the other three of us got. It's up to y'all. One to three on a desperate. Oh. It is the worst outcome. You suffer severe harm. A complication occurs where you lose this opportunity. <laughs> We're going to go with the complication occurs. He's like, you get about five steps into this cave and you suddenly lightheaded. Everything's going blurry. And there's a flash. In your, Bigfoot. And you're back. <laughs> you're back in your, um, you're back in your family estate. Oh, crap. You're, you're like, <laughs> and you're like, Young, your your five year old self, and you're like playing with your blocks, and you're just making them hover, like perfectly fine. And your older brother's sitting there, is like, like just like guiding. He's like, it's really good, far. It's like now, like you know, just keep reaching out, just keep thinking about how you can make it move. Then like flash, and then it's, it's like you know, like ten years old. Your father is literally like screaming at you that you can't keep doing this. That that we're not that it's not allowed and it's wrong and it's bad and you're fighting and it's just like it's like but my but 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 my but big brother says it's like no, i don't care what big brother says he's not part of this family anymore flash is like graduating law school everybody's happy and clapping and so proud of you of your nice normal mundane life and you just keep getting locked in and out of memories this has happened to me in real life before it sucks <laughs> I'm probably gonna throw up. <laughs> and in game. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to make a quick. Is this the same sibling that I mentioned in my background? Okay, because that it was a that's a sister, not a brother. Sorry, okay. I couldn't remember. Okay, just wanted to clarify. Sister. No, you got it. Just wanted. To... I didn't want to make sure it wasn't a secret brother. Jace, Jace, I don't want you to feel left out. What are you doing, friend? Oh, no, Matt, trust me. I, I am perfectly fine watching these three role play. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I wanted to give you the chance to do so. Do you want to interact with the Billies? No, I, I will have time for that. I am invested <laughs> in this. Okay. I mean, it is the mid-season. It is. There's a weird cylinder ahead of you. There's the sound of what sounds like trickling water in the darkness right ahead of you. There's all kinds of things moving around in the darkness about you, but you're currently still protected by the light. What are we doing? 
mis mysterious voice. What is this cylinder in front of us? Hmm. How does it work? And what does it do? Oh, Reach down and pick it up. Scar reaches down and picks it up. A harm for Farah for traumatic backstory. Hmm. That's okay. Uh, Farah, I was already going to be telling this when we came back for you, so it's fine. I'll, I'll let you know. <laughs> Not hitting the switch, just kind of inspecting it at arm's length. Just. It looks like a sword. Hmm. There's no sword. What does the switch do? How do you know if we belong? What happens if you don't? Then it doesn't belong. It looks like a sword hill. <laughs> He said, pretending to not know what it is. Uh, just... <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, just. I think that's right side up. Did it belong to them? Is that what happened to them? What happened to them? Where's the keeper? Well, they seem friendly. Gar, Sidney, hmm. give me another study roll. Yeah. Controlled standard. <sighs> Three. Four. Towards the engines. What was that? I'm also here. I have no clue. I wasn't asking you. Okay. Okay. What happens if we go too far into the darkness? There is literally no way for us to know. There's a hole. What is the way? <laughs> that is the question that's been asked for thousands of Are they talking about magic? I think Does that magic? magic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I have magic. Uh, I'm going to turn the <laughs> cylinder sideways. <laughs> Getting fully and behind Gar. Leaning back, hit the switch. Gar, you do not have any dots in a tune. Zero dots in a tune. Nothing happens. Yeah. Doesn't work for me. No midichlorium. You want to try it? It's not going to work for me. Ah. Uh, we're already here. What could it hurt? Do it sideways. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't I want to guess which side it comes out of. <laughs> I'll, I'll press the button. Press the button. A scarlet color begins to emit. The same that matches Cintra's like shirt vest situation she has going on. And it's like just a, an elongated blade of light. Presses out. the button again so fast. So fast. Before the blade even like really starts going out, I was like, I see a light and I'm like, nope. Instantly cuts off. Hmm. There, it's broken. Or? Broken. See, that's my line because it didn't turn on. It, it did something for you. And off to the sides of the 
torches start fading out after the whispering voices of Gordon. Hmm. Are these broken too? Mm-hmm. Whole system. We should probably go talk to somebody about that. We'll see if they're in here. And you're standing in a great chamber. There are various statues of various both humanoid and xeno standing there. They're wearing long flowy robes. It's like they look like they have the same like metal cylinder hanging off their belts that Sintra has in her hand. Mm. And there is a pool of liquid metal. Like it looks metallic in nature, but it's moving clear and fine as water. Like at the base of one statue. Mysterious voice, what is that? Oh. What? I didn't hear you. The liquid? Oh. There's a scream from behind you. Did I? Did I take uh. <laughs> Turn and aim, not firing. Turn Just turning and aiming. Fire, look back and like, Fara, like, looks up for a moment with their face planted in the dirt, like blood just coming down their eyes and their ears, clutching their bad. face before collapsing into the dirt. Hiding a metal stick on my prison? Far, Farah, you good? Give us, best, give us your best violent yell. Uh, I live in a townhouse. Yeah. Uh, then, then imagine. Violent. Uh, <laughs> oh, does that probably have a Discord soundboard for uh, R the R2 screen? <laughs> Gun not away, but rushing to Farah's side. <laughs> Rush the far aside, but now very low lit. All the the, the chitterous creatures don't seem to be moving. Because light. This broken ass space sword. It's in the cave that yeah. you need to take with you. I don't know what to do here, Sentra. Can we get her back to the ship? Mm. You can carry her, right? You're very strong. Absolutely. I love how casual this conversation is. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, Gar has concern. Citrus is kind of like, eh. Citrus seen worse. <laughs> Citrus seen much worse. Yeah. It looks like it's some kind There's of a... head trauma. It's a lot happening right now. Gone away. Princess Carrie. I'm worth it. Farah, as soon as Gar gets you out of the cave, like your head stops. You're you're back in real time. Sure there's like some blood from orifices that normally shouldn't be bleeding, but but you feel fine. <laughs> Just immediately fine? Yep. Second, you get out of the cave. Where am I? Who are you? What's going on? Since what happened? Lingered a little, a little bit back. Outside the cave, Gar, carrying you. Just like clutching at the fur on Gar's chest, trying to get. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's my title, me. <laughs> What happened? Oh, oh, I got you. Freaking... I, I, I don't know. I was... I got in the, in the cave. Uh -huh. Something was talking and then... Just... 
thrown into memory after memory. Of what? My life. Memories did this to you? It, was, it wasn't just... Um, it's like I was living those moments again and I was just thrown one into another. Just reliving. Yeah, but the... There's a lot of blood coming out of you. Were you being thrown into a wall? Because I can, I can relate to that. But like, Sentry like, eventually like, like saunters out. No. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. You dawdle. So not just being slow. That'll teach you to dawdle. Lollygagging. My ammo. <laughs> so sleepy. So a nap. Trying to calm Far down by not screaming at her or slapping her, or just kind of shaking her. She's bleeding out of the head. Try to roll one of them social rolls if you want. <laughs> You're okay, big teeth. <laughs> Everything's fine. Down. Giant predator that tore off There's arms. nothing to be freaked out about. <laughs> calm down. Don't be hysterical. Uh, <laughs> you're crazy. Do you need meat? <laughs> Calm down. It was like consequence because it's a four. It's like yeah. A slap from Farah. They're one good arm. <laughs> Two. Got it, back, got it back on. Good arm. Not torn off. Not previously torn off. The same arm Jace dented. <laughs> hey, don't hit. Are you okay? Can you stand? I... I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> Drop. No. <laughs> lay on your feet. It's easy. Just, fall, just lay on your feet. It's fine. Everyone can do it. Babies can do it. <laughs> I just want to know there. I, I don't know what you got. I've lived this scenario in real life, and I absolutely smacked the shit out of someone once. <laughs> This is bad acting right now. Yeah. Like as you casual your way towards the outside. Won't be stunning. You know this ego surroundings. Okay. Controlled? Yeah, controlled step. Hey, six. Who is it? Mysterious voice. Are you collecting blood? Hmm. Who is they? The progenitors? Do you look back and dig deeper into the cave? Of course I do! The statues. <laughs> no longer look stone they look flesh and living and they all their heads have turned to look at you as you start getting with the progenitors just ominous monk-like elders just staring at you what are you going to do with it Mysterious voice, what planet are we on? We're in Lexa. At least that's what it used to be. What happened to it? Hmm. What did humanity do? Hmm. 
And what were they trying to destroy this time? <laughs> you you were standing there. You're trying to calm calm Faro down. It's like, well, let's see if you can stand. And you get to set Faro on their feet. What do you get in the study? Do 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 study. Position. Uh, control stand. Hey! Oh shit! Oh. Hey! Oh, oh shit! So nice. Very nice. You set Farah down on their feet. Farah is just like, oh, okay, I, this is gonna be all right. And then there's just the soft sound of beeping of a key from inside of the key. Sounds, it sounds like an alarm. And it's, as you guys look around, the last sliver of the sun in the horizon crest, and there's just a ferocious sound of so many roars from all over the land. Oh, we gotta go. Sandra? Is that my alarm? Do I hear it? Your alarm, your alarm's going off. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna repeat Pamlock 7 one more time and then start sprinting for the exit. Now, Sandra, there's one thing you'll notice. Mm -hmm. Out there, dark. Inside the cave, nice and well lit. And all the things that were in the darkness don't seem to be in here anymore. Yeah. Are you going to brave the darkness or maybe try to coerce your two friends back into the cave? I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the mouth of the cave and this will this will depend on how they react. <laughs> We're outside Wait. on the outside of the cave or inside? The yeah, he carried, he carried you out of the cave. Okay, cool. Sintra, what the fuck are you doing? What are you doing? Recovering. We need to we need to get back to the ship. We need to get in here. With your guys' sound with your guys' sixes in your studies, uh, that there are things advancing on you. You hear the beating of wings and running through the, the hills that you're standing at. Inside. What about, what about Jace? Calling Jace. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna be in this cave, get in the ship, and you be said, safe. You said inside. Like you I'm not going inside yet. I told okay. them to go inside because gonna... our communicators don't work okay. inside. I was about to feel like you gotta yeah. you can't get Jace. I'm sorry. Gar is not smart, but he has some situational awareness. That's <laughs> We gotta go back inside this cave. You gotta hunker down that ship. Okay. What the fuck's going on out there? Wild shit. We'll talk to you in the morning. Get the ship. Okay. Get the ship fixed. Come back for us. Okay. Uh, I'll hang up and answer the billies. Yeah. Hey. What are you doing? It's Chase. What I've told you. you it's Chase. I've told you guys this several times. <laughs> no, I'm pretty positive it was Jack. Anyways. Maybe it was Jackie. I don't know. Anyway, what are you doing down there? Well, it's my ship, my crew. Um, thanks, by the way, for coming for the pickup. Uh, I mean, we've been hovering, waiting. They said that, like, you know, you, you guys were, like, scattered or something. Yeah. Did someone want us to scoop you? Yeah, if you can scoop the ship and we just like hover in orbit until daybreak. Oh yeah, we gotta go back. on this damn planet, the fucking critters are Oof. in. That meter's gonna be yeah, running. Fair. <laughs> They're hunkering down in some cave. They've got light, apparently. I don't know what's going on with them. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'd hate to leave two pretty ladies stranded like that. Ah, uh, they got one big old gar with them. Gar is a giant cat person. Hey, he's pretty scrappy. 
So from the mouth of the cave, you guys will see the, the, the weird crustacean ship swoop down and like with its gra grabby hands, just like grab your ship and pull it up into space out of the planet. Hmm. Yeah, you also said see you in the morning. But them space hillbillies just took your ship and left the planet. The hell is that? We'll talk about this in the cave. <laughs> <laughs> While they're starving in a cave, I'm gonna be having me some nice jambalaya. I got shandy and traits. Yeah, Jay's dropped on the ship. That's never gone bad. <sighs> I'm not flying the ship right now. Thank you very much. And neither was I. <laughs> and you guys are left alone. There is. circled the cave entrance they can't get close like you will see occasions like a giant claw like kind of creep forward and the second the light tip from the cave touches it like rears its hand back like it is just gonna like to sizzle, right? since she's gonna like stand and watch that for the for a while like mm -hmm. it's a zombie movie and she's just huh. we'll waiting for the end huh but now it's lit. Can I see all those supplies and stuff that was on the ground? Oh, yeah. It's cool. There's all kinds of blasters, and detonators, and, and a case of rations, but maybe expired. Not a problem for me. <laughs> of course. Mm. I mean, Richmond. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Give me a kickback. Tell me um, what to do. You're all on planet. Hey, my mom, get out of here. Laura, do you want anything for your whatever that was? Would you recommend for psychological trauma and bleeding eyes, nose, ears, and mouth? Which is in back. <laughs> shakes out okay. like shakes out like three pills. Pauses for a second, like fourth. <laughs> You're the doctor. <laughs> Surprise! Poison! Got him! <laughs> Shouldn't have lied! No witness. Surprise, it's Narcan. <laughs> but, so yeah, uh, Farah, you will. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Not since college. <laughs> oh, no. And oh. That's what we're going to leave off tonight. The mid season finale. <clears throat> Woo! <laughs> totally didn't just give Sentra a lightsaber. Totally did not. Well, nope. let's see, we're not much it's broken. Yeah. Sidra's too scared to actually see what it does. <laughs> oh, it's not that. It was a it was a race to see which of the people with the tune would, would get it first. I thought about that. Like you wanted me to go to that cave. Sure did. Mm -hmm. Sure freaking did. But I love the way this played out. <laughs> Matt, Matt, start, Colin, Matt started mentioning weird, mysterious cave. I was like, oh, I know where this is going. Yep. That's why I said, Faro, can you go get, can you go after Gar? Yeah, I was 100% on What do you think about that? I was intending to, and Stitcher was just like, yeah, I'll go. I was like, oh, all right, one of us. <laughs> it made it even better. <laughs> Can't wait for Faro to catch on that and be like, oh, so really, I'm keeping Oh, by the way. Man, I don't know if you saw it, but she wanted to give everyone a kiss. I saw it. Okay. <laughs> I got you. There will be some complications. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some point. Got a whole cave to loot. <laughs> you got a whole cave to loot? Uh, this was episode toy. six of Hyperspace Hustle. We are joined tonight by Jay's played by Ashley the Mage, Ashley the Brick, Ashley the Witch, Magic Ashley, the Brick. Centra, portrayed by Degeneration X. 
Farah. Next week there will be a fifth Farah. one. Garanta, check out Pierce Pasta. Guys, did you enjoy your little mid-season finale? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mysterious, <laughs> mysterious, desolate planet that your ship just <laughs> magically, like, you know, cut out on and then crashed onto and stuff. No reason. I don't want to go in the cave. Definitely, no, definitely, no, not, no. definitely not fate or anything. <laughs> yeah, no such definitely. Thing. Definitely. You gotta believe me. I believe in you. I don't know. Most of the things accident. <laughs> How made your night tonight? There was a lot of really good role play. Oh, Farah, lies upon lies. <laughs> lies upon lies upon lies. Okay. Butter guy. I feel bad with, because the bitch off with Sintra. I feel or? like I keep giving it to Sintra, but yeah, it's like just <laughs> everything. Yeah. Uh, degeneration X. Hmm. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna give it to Jace for being the only not problem. <laughs> this whole episode, for what? just minding his own goddamn business. For Fixing the ship like he was told. Yeah, it's like Jace, once. Jace cares about this ship. <laughs> Jace is the reason. As far as Jace is concerned, I, Jace is the reason we are on this fucking rock, and you guys are about to die. And Jace is that wrong? Right. It is totally Jace's fault, and nothing else. Totally not robot interference. Jace. Huh? Oh, um, shit. Honorable mention to our amazing game master for the memory, just psychological trauma on Farah. Um, but it's everybody. It's what Matt do. <laughs> I'm gonna give it to. I'm actually gonna give it to Farah for the command. I believe it was against <laughs> Farah. Yeah. Get him one. to just stay. <laughs> I'm not leaving this game, but I'm not going in yet. <laughs> yeah. You gonna come back? I'm not, I'm not leaving, but I'm not going in this game. <laughs> I would love it if you guys tried to make a break for the ship, because it's like, all right, here we go. Uh -oh. That would have been so much worse. Like, and then, you, how much harm are you getting back to the ship? <laughs> all of Just it. run through the blades. Sentra has so many questions. Leaving that cave is going to be difficult in the first place. Run, run through the pitch black. Uh, and then I can use those redeems through Patreon now, correct? If you'd like to. Yeah. Cool. Or if you'd uh, like to save them for other games to mess with people or help people. I'm going to do it on this one. That's okay. <laughs> That's fine. Your redeems, my dude. Well, I got yeah. some. I got me. I'm building up. Heck yeah. Uh, cool. Star for just super not caring. You know, the, you know, these redeems don't have to come with a reason. You're supposed to be like this person, this person. Fuck you. Okay, oh, cool. yeah. then yeah. yeah. Star and Jace. Right. <laughs> Aww. Beautiful. All right, guys. Uh, that was. Uh, episode 6 of Hyperspace Hustle. Uh, if you are Man. not part of our Discord community, we currently have votes going for the Halloween season tabletop games. Uh, make sure to pop in over on our Discord. Uh, cast votes. Join us. Be part of the community. Yes. Are you like, are you like what yes. the hell did I just stumble upon? What is this? <laughs> YouTube. I like YouTube that all the time. All, YouTube has all of our previous uh, episodes of this. Well, not all of them, but it, we're currently up to episode 3. Uh, if you want to see yep. the development of the crazy shenanigans go check us out on the youtubes give us a like and subscribe no. it helps and, oh god have they been development and do you like pay, uh do, do you like free redeems do you like uh merch do you like your vote meaning more on the votes consider subscribing to the patreon patreon has a whole bevy of wonderful things that you can get from it uh including uh, upcoming teasers of the games with which i'm developing myself uh so yeah uh, those are all of our things. Uh, big shout out. I didn't do this earlier, but as Koi. always, in our hearts, in our minds, Koi! Koi is our boy. Koi does all of the editing for our videos on YouTube. Koi makes the awesome intro videos for all of our games. If you have need of stuff for your streams, for your content, for whatever it is, Koi is your boy. 
Make sure to hit up Koi. Uh, he is worth every penny, and I do not recommend. Rick a damn man. Rick a damn man. I got them damn billies stuck in my brain. <laughs> like fucking billies. The damn billies. Um, yeah. I am as I always, like them. I am as always DM Daddy RPG. Daddy loves you so much. And I hope you have a great rest of your week. Uh, we will be back tomorrow with Scion. Uh, Shattered Worlds, Chapter 2 of our four-chapter Scion campaign. Uh, if that doesn't tickle your fancy, we're back with our reality TV show, Dungeons & Dragons, on Friday, The Isle of Osmo, uh, which is a treat unto itself. What's going yeah. on? Yeah. Yeah. As, as we figure out how to actually work together. And if we, don't, if we don't see you on either of those, we'll hopefully see you next week. I hope your weekends are magical and awesome. And Bye. Bye.